Yo, what is going on YouTube? Islam here, and I'm going to tell you how to steal a ship. No, I'm not going to talk about like space combat, docking with it, because that's too that's too hard and too difficult and too, just too costly for me, because I suck at that. But no, no, I'm telling you, go to a planet, moon, or anywhere that has a landing site, um, and just land. Don't land at the landing site, just land anywhere. I, I just landed anywhere on this moon, and I landed... And as soon as I landed, I guess I got lucky. I don't know uh, how often planet or planets uh, ships uh, land, but no, I just went down. I was like, hmm. And I saw the ship landing, so I was like, wait, can I go to this ship? And sure enough, I can go to the ship, talk to the people if they're not uh, space pirates. I will say, space pirates uh, will attack you, um, or at least these did attack me. So yeah, and also be careful because they could take off <laughs> while you're still in there. But hey, you can still take it. So regardless. Um, make sure you have some digipics because if it's like a civilian ship or a trader ship or something, you probably have to hack into it or lockpick it or whatever. And, uh, yeah, so once you're in the ship, you can loot anything, but I wouldn't loot anything. Just, just don't loot anything because whatever is in the ship and you steal it and take it, it'll be added to your new home ship because your cargo is always there. Your cargo is never deleted. Once you rebuild a ship from scratch, after you delete the cargo, it's it's always there. Your cargo is there, so it's it's saved in uh, in data inside the code. So you're you're good. You're you're fine. Bro. You're fine. Shh. You're fine. All right. Bro. So, um, yeah. Once once you go steal the ship, you go to um, I went to Atlas of Centauri in uh, Atlantis and um, or Atlas whatever the hell it's called, and um, I went to the uh, to the trader the, the trade people, and I went to modify it. And before you can do anything, you have to register your ship. All right. So before you do anything, it will show that when you modify or look at your, the, the ship that you stole, it will say on the bottom left, the sell value. Mine was like uh, 10,400 and something sell value, which I was too excited that I stole a ship. I didn't I disregarded all that. But once you register the ship, I think my cost around 8,800 to register. So not much profit. Okay. Now, you might get lucky and there'll be something good in uh, in the ship. Now, this uh, this trader ship or whatever, uh, it didn't really have any cool stuff. But like I said, the stuff that's in it will transfer over to your cargo. And it's kind of like a, an infinite storage uh, thing. So uh, my storage on my home ship, after I stole a lot of ships, um, you could just drop stuff on the floor of the, the ships you stole. And that cargo will be transferred over to your home ship after you sell that ship. So I, I, my cargo, current cargo is 970 out of 620. So I can only hold 620, but stealing ships and stuff is kind of like a, an infinite storage exploit. So it's really cool. But if you don't want to do that, sure, that's fine. You know, just follow the rules until they fix it. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the, but the, this, uh, this pirate ship... That took off with me in it when I was trying to steal it. Um, it had contraband in it. So you can get lucky and find some cool items in these ships. Um, maybe pirate ships, maybe a trader ships. I don't know. But all you got to do, get lucky, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the lowdown on it. And if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and sub. And I'll see you in the battlefield. Or the star, starfield? Alright, everybody. Being a factor in this shit. Bro, reality. Ten thousand, dude. 